Welcome everyone to JSA TV Live, the live streaming newsroom for data center professionals. Today, we are speaking to you with investors, data center platform owners, and energy specialists right here as they converge at Platform Congress in the French Riviera. So uh, I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, guys, and joining me today, we're so honored to have Deborah McGargle. She is the CEO of FAR, an early stage venture-backed SaaS solution that provides interactive experiences and augmented reality tools, which we can integrate into a customer's existing digital collateral. So here to tell us more, Ms. Deborah, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Oh, it's an honor to have you, Deborah. Um, you are, of course, a longtime entrepreneur as well as an, a corporate equity lawyer. What are you hoping to gain from Platform this year? Um, the, the conference itself, for me, it was almost like it was written for me. Mm. It was full of data, technology, investment, venture capital. It was everything. I think they probably just looked at my resume and said, hey, we'll just lay this on for you. Yeah. Um, my primary focus is investment. There is so much investment coming into data centers. We've seen such an incredible spike over the last two years. So I want to know where is the money coming from? Yeah. Where is the money going? We've seen recent news reports just in the last week alone of how funds um, are advertising just how much more they've raised. That has to be deployed somewhere, Jamie. It has yeah. to be. Yeah. So I'd like to know where it's going and what better setting than here at Platform because I'm able to get this information straight from the industry leaders. There's, there's global professionals here and um, it's already been wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You've already had a, a good feel, a oh, good incredible. energy, right? Incredible. Such an international crowd as well. It's, yes, it's been... and it's a beat, which yeah. is great. Yeah. It's positive messaging, which yes. is fantastic. Yes, yes. Um, and talking um, upbeat and positive message. Can you tell us a little bit about FAR and uh, the inspiration behind its launch? FAR is really playing around in the, in the Metaverse 3.0 space. I have been hearing all this news about the Metaverse. I know that many people groan about the Metaverse and, oh, what is it? And uh, mind you, they did do that at Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. So perhaps a Web 3.0 uh, might just be the one this time. Yes. We, with FAR... I didn't want to participate in Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. I think it looks great, but uh, as, a, as a woman in my 40s, the thought of becoming an avatar and working in the metaverse and socializing in the metaverse and playing the metaverse, I'm afraid it's just a, it's just a step too far for me. But I don't want to be precluded from the technology. Right. I want to be able to access this as well, but I want to be able to access it when I want to access it. Right. So if I want to take in my natural surroundings without any technology, then I should be able to. But equally, using existing tools like my mobile phone, I should also be able to open up the world that I want to see with content that's relevant to me as an actual human as opposed to an avatar. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And that's sort of a wonderful lead-in, really, because you are joining us tomorrow I in am. a great conversation, a great roundtable uh, on women in finance and technology. Um, certainly, in your opinion, um, what is why is diversity so important, especially in the tech industry, and why now? I, I don't think this is a difficult question. I don't think this is a difficult question at all. Mm. If you have a diverse workforce, if you put diversity at the very center of your workforce, you have more creativity, you have better ideas, you have a, a much broader sense uh, and you're able to apply that to the products and services that you're making, which makes for the most innovative products and services that you can then go on to deliver to your customer. I can't believe we're still having the diversity conversations. That's true. I think that it should just be a complete no-brainer. If you want to deliver the best to your customers or your end users, then the only way that you can do it is by having diversity in the building of those products and services to begin yeah. with. Absolutely, absolutely. And on the same topic, what advice do you have for the younger women interested in pursuing a career in technology field today? The words technology field are really let me start that again. We need a rebrand. Yes. We need a complete rebrand, don't we? Yes. When we use the words technology sector, it just makes all of the women 
run from the shores. I am a lawyer. I work with marketeers. I work with accountants. We're all part of this technology sector. Yeah. I think when women, particularly younger women, hear the words technology sector, they think computer scientists, they think engineers, and they think no makeup. <laughs> hair tied back. I can still be a brilliant legal technologist. I can still be a CEO of a technology company in this new world that's developing. And right. I can still like makeup and want to do my hair. Seriously. So a full rebrand yes. is exactly what's needed here. And my advice to answer the question for these young women is please just see past the brand, see past the messaging. If you look past the messaging, perhaps it's not even a question or perhaps it's not even advice to young women is it not a case that it's a, an advice to the educators and to those who are advising about careers mm. that's maybe is where this is best landed mm. um, but technology sector is nothing to be frightened of and so much to be gained I've had a really rich career in this sector yes yes you are absolutely a great example of a success story well, in you. our tech and investor financial uh, industries combined tell us more about why your passion lies with disruptive technologies uh, and grassroots innovation. I'm a sucker for the innovator. Mm. I'm, I'm a sucker for the, for the outsider. I think that people who are prepared to run with a completely random idea or try to disrupt the sector that's already been nailed on in full and they have got the gumption to go for that with no money and uh, no, no customers... I think that that for me is bravery itself. Yes. It's bravery personified and I can't help myself. I love this sector because to see all of these wonderful ideas, the, the, the wealth of brains, the collaborative approach within the disruptive sector, there's no other sector like it. And, and what would be my alternatives? I could be in a corporate law firm. Yeah. I could be uh, delivering in a very gray box and earning an awful lot of money or I could just be working with the best of the best and people who hopefully in years to come will go on to be super successful and have their businesses showcase at an event like this at Platform. Well, what a great example of following your heart and your passion and creating a career out of it. Thank you, Thank you Miss Deborah. And tell us, where can our viewers go to learn more about FAR? So we have our website, which is um, far-f-ar.co. You can find us on there and also you can follow me on Twitter where you can hear my ramblings about technology, augmented reality and investment. And that's at Deborah McGargle. Oh, we love that. And uh, OK, so it's f.ar.co. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. wonderful. We will definitely check that out, guys. Um, and thank you so much, Deborah McGargle, for your time here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live here at Platform Congress. As always, guys, stay safe, stay green, and happy networking.